We went to Riverside Studios in Berlin to record Olivia Trummer and her band play the track Gotta Miss Someone on three different interfaces. The Focusrite Clara 8 Pre-X, the Apogee Ensemble, and the UAD Apollo 8P. We then invited a few industry professionals to engage in a blind listening test to see which interfaces came out on top and why. Seems like you gotta miss someone to be complete. We spoke to Oliver Labe, producer and engineer of the session, to see how he approached the recordings between all interfaces. We had two approaches of, of taking care that the preamp settings, at least as a starting point, have like a, a same start to begin with. So there was one uh, uh, solution was like placing little speakers at the exact position of the performer or the sound source, which would have turned out in a big, big effort, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> and uh, second solution, we just take a signal generator and feed like from a marked fixed position a test tone, like a one kilohertz test tone, and then write that down with the first interface, change the interface, play back the same test tone, so at least we have a comparable and measurable start point for the, the gain settings. We then invited a few people to listen to the results, replacing all interface names with X, Y and Z. Hey. All right, I can hear a difference it's clear. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. So there's kind of tightness already, beautiful tightness in num in X. And Y is there, the tightness, but not as X, and the high in X is better than Y. I mean, the, the, the quality is outstanding on three of them, that's no doubt, but with Z, it just feels more, everything feels much more, sen very center. And um, on Z, it's really good, is the highs, I feel it, it, it translates a lot to me, but um, mids, it just feels, I don't know, uh, compared to the other ones, it feels um, all just clogged together. Well, I'm, I'm more uh, used, to, used to the first. You mean the very first one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. when I sat down. The high of X is better. Yeah, but the dynamic, I don't know how he do it, but the relation between peak and RMS is like, you feel it's there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So if you could put them in order of preference, the three of them. I mean, X and Y is very near, it's a taste topic. X and Y. Z, I will remove it for now. X and Y are by far the, the t my two favorites, but uh, X is no, no, in no comparison the strongest out of personal preference. So, but uh, yeah, you can, you can hear it clearly the differences between them. I would say X is more more transparent than than why but why is colored but beautiful colored not bad colored and three is mellow for me it's musical it's very transparent but mellow a bit mellow you know when i say this mellow is it's not like it's not robust yeah. robust i think
So X is actually focus right. Fantastic. Looks like what I have to order next for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe noise to ratio or something like that. I don't know what how what they how they do it. But congratulations, I can say. Really congratulations for this. This is super nice. This is super nice. Seems like you gotta miss someone to be complete.